Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModerX.com. Many of you guys have been asking me, when am I going to flash a ROM on the Galaxy S4? I've been running stock TouchWiz for, well, ever since I've had the phone. I've had no issues with it. Battery life has been excellent for me. I've just finished my work day today. It's almost 5 o'clock. You see I've got 61%. So this phone is really... Even with stock TouchWiz, it has really worked well for me. Of course, there's tons of bloat on here. There's lots of TouchWiz features that you may or may not need. If that's you, this video is for you. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how to install CyanogenMod 10 to the Galaxy S4. It's a very simple process. You'll need to be rooted. You'll need to have a Loki modified recovery already installed. TeamWin recovery will work. Clockwork Mod recovery will also work. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to boot into recovery. The two files that we need, I'll link to in the description. We need our CM10 Nightly. These are not stable builds quite yet for this device. These are Nightly builds, so there may be some things that are a little wonky for now, uh, but stables will come quickly because these are official builds. G apps, you'll need to go ahead and grab that too. Like I said, I'll have the link in the description. Uh, these links were provided by Invisiblex, so he also has a mirror to the G apps. So big shout outs to him. Okay, so it looks like Invisiblack and Guido are the maintainers for CyanogenMod 10 on the Galaxy S4. So big shout outs to them for getting that ROM uh, officially built for the Galaxy S4. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery. The way we want to do that is we'll hit restart and then hold volume up. That should get us into recovery. Or you can power down and hold volume up and power okay so from here it's very simple now I'm not going to do a full review of signage in my 10 today I'm just going to show you guys how to install it and then we'll kind of do a quick little walkthrough uh, obviously I haven't had time since we're installing it for the first time today to do a full review but for now we're, we're just going to install and then we'll do a quick walkthrough so the first thing you want to do is hit backup I already have a clean backup of my stock uh, with root so the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you do back up your stock rooted file uh, I'm sorry your stock rooted ROM so that you can always get back to that no matter what ROM you're on you can always restore your backup so be sure to make an Android backup first the way you do that is hit backup and then swipe to backup from there you can restore that you see that I already have my backup made all you would have to do is click that and it would go ahead and restore so we'll wipe and here we're gonna wipe everything uh, factory reset wipes data cache and Dalvik. Give that just a few seconds. We'll go back. Install. We're looking for the files that we just downloaded, CyanogenMod 10. Go ahead and flash that. And then we'll flash our G apps directly after that. Okay, so after you get it successful, we'll go back to install. And now we'll go ahead and install our G apps. Be sure that that is what you're flashing. When that's finished, we will go ahead and reboot the system. This should reboot us into CyanogenMod 10 for the very first time. Now, if you're not already aware, CyanogenMod 10 is stock vanilla Android. So this totally gets rid of all your TouchWiz features. This would be like running a Galaxy Nexus device uh, or any other Nexus device. That's basically what you will have here is the Nexus experience on your Samsung Galaxy S4. So there is the CyanogenMod boot animation. We'll go ahead and let it boot up. I'll get all logged in and then we'll do a quick walkthrough of CyanogenMod 10 on the S4. So here you have it. CyanogenMod 10 on the Galaxy S4. As you guys can see, there's not a lot of bloat. Not a lot of extra anything here. It's just stock vanilla Android. Now there are some modifications here that you can make with the launcher of course it has the trebuchet launcher as you've come to expect from CyanogenMod we've got some lock screen settings theme options any CyanogenMod 10 or AOKP theme from the market can be applied here and you have some other system settings status bar settings with battery style of course I'll do a full walkthrough and review of this ROM later uh, as soon as I've had some time really to play with the ROM, so maybe in a week or so. But if you know signage of my 10, you know it's an excellent ROM, and this is going to be your best bet for stock vanilla Android on the Galaxy S4. Before we get out of here, I'd like to take a look at our sponsor, Opinion Outpost. You get paid or rewarded with free stuff to give your opinion. So basically, what this is is a survey website. You'll get to help mold. 
uh, your opinion for products. They'll give you surveys on products or companies and you'll get to actually help mold future products from those companies. This is not a get rich quick scheme, but real research from big companies. You can win cash or Amazon gift cards. It's free to sign up and you can sign up by following the link in the description. I'll make that the very first link in the description so it'll be quick and easy for you guys. And I do appreciate that. Thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the near future. We're gonna be covering the Galaxy S4 very heavily. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Once again, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.